Scientists have found a solution to the mystery of strange islands on Titan. When the Cassini probe explored Saturn a few years ago, it also took a look at Titan, which is the largest of its moons. The transmitted data revealed huge lakes of liquid methane and what appeared to be islands within these gigantic reservoirs. Now scientists say they have a solution to this mystery. According to them, these are organic molecules stuck together that form in the atmosphere and then fall onto Titan's methane lakes, forming islands. Titan is the largest moon of Saturn and the second largest moon in the solar system, second only to Ganymede. It is also one of the most intriguing and Earth-like objects in our planetary system. It is larger than Mercury and almost as large as Mars, and its dense atmosphere, four times denser than Earth's, consists mainly of nitrogen and organic carbon-based molecules. Titan is also the only planetary body beyond Earth that we know has rivers, lakes and seas on its surface. However, unlike our planet, the liquid on Titan is not water. It is composed of hydrocarbons, including methane and ethane, which are primarily gaseous on our planet, but behave like a liquid in Titan's frigid climate. This moon is ten times further from the Sun than the Earth. On its surface, temperatures fluctuate around minus 180 degrees Celsius. This intriguing moon was explored by the Cassini spacecraft, which orbited Saturn from 2004 to 2017 and collected enormous amounts of information about the gas giant and its moons. The mission included over 100 passes over Titan, providing scientists with a wealth of data about the Moon in unprecedented detail. Observations from orbit showed bright spots on the surface of methane lakes that last from several hours to several weeks. These features have become known as magic islands, and it looks like researchers have finally figured out what they are. Shortly after the discovery of islands in Titan's methane lakes, speculation arose that they could be phantom islands created by waves or real islands made of solids suspended in liquid methane. It was also suggested that they could be ordinary nitrogen bubbles. Shinting Yu, a planetary scientist and lead author of the new study published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters, wondered whether a closer look at the relationship between Titan's atmosphere, methane lakes and solid materials deposited on the Moon's surface could reveal why these mysterious islands formed. I wanted to investigate whether magic islands might actually be composed of organic substances floating on the surface, like pumice, which can float on the water here on Earth before eventually sinking, you said. Titan's atmosphere is thick and contains a variety of organic molecules. They can stick together, freeze and fall onto the Moon's surface, onto its rivers and lakes of liquid methane and ethane, with waves only a few millimeters high. But what would happen if such organic lumps fell onto the methane liquid? Would they sink or float? To find the answer, the team first examined whether organic molecules would simply dissolve in methane lakes. Because the lakes are already saturated with organic molecules, the team determined that the falling clumps would not dissolve once they reached the liquid. For us to see magical islands, they can't just float for a second and then sink, 
you said. They have to float on the water for some time, but not forever, he added. Titan's lakes and seas are composed primarily of methane and ethane, which have low surface tension, making it difficult for solids to float on them. Computer models suggested that most frozen solids would be too dense and the surface tension too low to form Titan's magical islands. Unless the clumps were porous, like Swiss cheese. In further research, the researchers found that if the lumps were large enough and porous enough, Liquid methane could seep in slowly enough for the lumps to remain on the surface for a longer period of time. Individual lumps are probably too small to float on their own. However, if enough of them accumulate near the shore, larger pieces can break off and float away, much like glaciers on Earth with a combination of larger size and appropriate porosity. These organic glaciers may explain the phenomenon of magic islands. And that's not all. The presence of a frozen solid coating on the surface of lakes and rivers may explain their incredible smoothness. NASA postpones the launch of the Artemis mission. It will take the US a little longer than expected to send astronauts back to the moon. NASA announced the postponement of the Artemis II and Artemis III missions by one year. NASA representatives admitted at a press conference that the delays were related to technical problems. The Artemis program, implemented by NASA together with international partners, is intended to lead to the re-landing of humans on the moon, and in the longer term, perhaps to the establishment of a permanent base there. The program was divided into three parts. The Artemis I mission launched in November 2022. It was the maiden flight of the Space Launch System SLS, rocket with the Orion capsule. The crew capsule, but without astronauts, orbited the Moon and returned safely to Earth. The next launch in the Artemis program, the Artemis II mission, was planned for 2024 and was to be a manned flight, but without landing on the moon. We already know that it will have a one-year delay and will start in 2025 at the earliest. The Artemis III mission, planned for 2025, was also postponed by a year, in which it was scheduled to land on the Silver Globe. This will be the first landing on our natural satellite since December 1972, when astronauts from the Apollo 17 mission walked on the moon. The new plan assumes that the Artemis II mission will launch in September 2025, and the Artemis III mission a year later, i.e. in September 2026. Safety is our top priority. And to give Artemis teams more time to address design, operations and integration challenges, we will devote more time to Artemis 2 and 3, NASA Chief Bill Nelson said. He also added that the Artemis IV mission remains on track to launch in September 2028. Nelson's deputy, Jim Free, stressed that the decision to delay Artemis II and Artemis III was made for the safety of the crew. I want to emphasize that safety is our priority. And as we prepare to send our friends and colleagues on a mission, we commit to keeping them safe. We will start when we are ready, emphasized Free.
NASA continues to test and develop a number of new systems and technologies ahead of the launch of the Artemis II mission. These are the new facilities at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where rockets will be launched from, enabling quick fuel loading. There is also a new mission abort system as well as a new life support system. And all of this was added to support the crew and keep them safe, said NASA's Amit Shatria. Shatria also explained that there are problems with the heat shield of the Orion capsule. They were detected during the Artemis I mission and raised serious concerns. In addition, Part of the life support system in the Orion capsule is to be replaced due to failures during testing. But that's not the end of the problems. The electrical system in the mission abort system, which is designed to emergency launch the capsule as far away as possible from the SLS rocket if an anomaly is detected during launch, did not function as expected during testing. The Artemis program refers to the Apollo program, in which American astronauts landed on the moon in the 1960s and 1970s, because Artemis in Greek mythology is Apollo's twin sister. That is why a woman will take part in the planned lunar mission.